have an announcement to make this video. I have a very important announcement. The Lions won their first game. The Lions won, guys. They did it. They won their first game. They won it. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> if you're gonna beat one team this entire year, at least it'd be the Bears. <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, but then again, you know, we just got done saying that in a, the other video. If you want to go watch it, um, the Chiefs don't look like they're a terrible team this year either. I on paper, but they're only one in five. They they have the same record as you know the Lions. So what? Who's gonna be worse, the Lions or the Chiefs this year? I guess. Tech. Yeah, that's true. I, I just they they kind of confuse me, but at the same time, you know, I knew that a win was coming. Uh, it definitely was overdue. It, it definitely, uh, I kind of said it before, half jokingly, but also, it is to be honest. If they are gonna get a win, finally, the Bears seem like a team that they were. Right, uh, and you know, it, it was a nail better into overtime. And honestly, the only reason it went into overtime is because there was like what six penalties at the very end in the fourth quarter to bring it to that uh, uh, point. Yeah, it was a high scoring game. Right, there's a lot of fourth down conversions. Uh, you know, fourth and two, go for it. Fourth and six, go for it. It was kind of, and then you know, getting the penalties, drawing the flags, and you know. That's true. Yeah, yeah. This. Right. You know, and. I think the biggest thing that came out of this game, well, you know, maybe I'll save it until the end, which is going to be the obvious thing that you're, people are going to be anticipating because it's been, been talked about. But I, I think before that, you know, they got to win in overtime with a field goal, but, you know, we could talk about that huge pass to Calvin Johnson, you know, to set up for the field goal. That, I mean, that was pretty damn impressive. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. It, it, Yeah. Well, I think even more so than that, that it's good to see that the Lions just haven't given up. Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah, I think it, that that's pretty much what happened when Lions did go zero and sixteen. 
I think by I think it was probably midway through the season they were zero and eight and they're like we know we're not going to win so what uh, you know and then when you already have that mentality under the books then you perform that way and Lions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, now I I think we could probably go to the controversial call of this entire game. Probably, honestly, the most interesting thing that came out of this entire game, other than the ending. Um, I don't even know where to begin, so I'm just going to kind of start rambling and hopefully I don't drag it on too long, but... Uh, first and foremost, I do think that. Okay, let's sum it up quickly. First and foremost, I think that it's ironic that Golden Tate is going to be the receiver to get another controversial touchdown. But in this time, I do think it was in favor of Golden Tate that it was the correct call based on the ruling. Uh, you know, he crossed the plan, he had possession. It's, it's a touchdown. You know, it, it really is. By every rule that they have in the book it, it was there and the call was correct but that doesn't necessarily mean that the rule should be that way because I feel like if that ruling is correct on that then think about how many years have gone by that a running back has crossed the plane and as he was falling the ball came out and they ruled as a fumble so it's kind of unfair of all these rulings that happened before that counted as a fumble, even though the ball crossed the plane and he clearly had possession because he's the running back, but because he's a wide receiver, that having possession and crossing the plane is just enough, even though the ball pops out. And because of that, I think what the rule needs to change to, because I think the reason why it's controversial is not because the call itself I think the rule has too big of a gray area at this point because of all these prior situations as I explained you know as my example with running backs I think what the rule needs to change to is if you're an eligible receiver or running back and you have possession of ball and you cross the plane the play stops as soon as forward progress stops I think that's what it needs to change to because in that case, Golden Tate was still using forward progress and the ball came out. And in that, so that should have been a fumble interception because it was a fumble, but it was tossed up in the air and got caught midair. I, you know, whatever, that's an interception or fumble, whatever you want to call it. It was a turnover. Let's just leave it at that. And I think because of it, that that will get rid of that gray area if you at least call that like as soon as forward progress ends and you're across the plane with possession touchdown then there's no gray area you have the rule set you don't have these controversies anymore and at least you know for a fact that these are the rules and that that's what needs to happen and that's just my two cents I honestly think that's the best way to, to clear it up because if you look at the situations with any running backs that could potentially drop the ball uh, while crossing the plane, well, then all those running backs in the past should have gotten the touchdown because guess what? You cross the plane. That's all you need, right? But they ruled it fumble before, and they always ruled it fumbles before because they said, well, the, the player was on a downward motion when the ball popped out, so it's ruled a fumble. Well, it wasn't. Golden Tate still during his forward progress across the end zone when the ball popped out for him. So I think that's honestly all you have to adjust is that once your forward progress ends, meaning if you're a running back crossing the plane, as soon as you hit the ground, you know, and you still have possession of the ball, 
touchdown. If you're a wide receiver and you turn around and as soon as you plant your feet and you stop your forward motion, then it's a touchdown. Anything that happens during that slight, you know, second or two seconds, if a ball pops out, then hey, that's, you know, fair game because you didn't stop your forward progress. Okay. Well, you know what? It, it, that's actually pretty good because at least, you know, anybody else who wants to listen in, if if you agree, if you disagree, especially if you disagree, then yeah, I would honestly... <laughs> well, it, I'm not necessarily saying that I'm right on this. I'm just, that's just the best idea I've come up with. No. Well, I mean, I, I just think, uh, as I said before, the the call was correct. It, it really was. Now, yeah. Well, honestly, with since this is you know really big news right now, I expected the episode to go a little long. But hopefully, anybody else out there, you know, stayed in tune. Uh, I hope this is interesting enough to at least you know get some topics rolling, get get some conversations going on the whole thing because it's definitely been all over ESPN and Sports Center and everything else. Ooh, this could come up in late call, but definitely before watching late call, give us your input of what you think the rules should be. If you agree, if the rules are good now, if you what you think that the rules should change too, <clears throat> if you think that it should do so. And of course, always follow us on Facebook and Twitter because we're posting things on there on the daily now. And, you know, maybe catch up and... I, th I thought we did.